Well, our marriage and parenting series this summer is brought to you by Aro, and we're excited to have the founder, one of the co-creators with us, Joey Odom, to just ask a little more about this unique box device that's going to help you limit your use of your devices in ways that you're going to find exciting, healthy, new, innovative, and it's incredible for your kids and your family. And so let's listen in now as we talk with Joey Odom. Well, Joey, tell us about the name Aro. Where did that come from? Well, it begins with this this thing that most of us say, which is, hey, I'm on my phone too much, or my kids are always on their phone, or my spouse is always on, on their phone. And, and we all acknowledge this thing that we see inside of us that we're always on our phone. And why do we acknowledge it? Well, it's, it's because we've lost this ability to notice. The notice, whether it's a feeling inside of ourselves, or it's in a conversation with somebody, or it's a family dinner, and so Aro is this beautiful word that means to notice. Mm. And it's mm. funny enough because we even say like, oh, I should focus or be present. Well, you can't do any of that until you've noticed first. And so right. it's this very first thing. And, and really what's happening is that our phones, as great as they are, they are getting in the way of our ability to notice. Yeah, I've thought about that these recent years about how our attention span keeps shrinking. And now you have like 0.03 seconds <laughs> before you you know continue to swipe forward right. and and we had no idea. I mean, I know for me for the last decade of being a mom, like I had no idea what I was missing because it was I was barely half engaged and then right. I was divided, right? Like trying to keep an eye on the kids, trying to, you know, catch up with somebody online and really learned that people suffering was my family. Yeah. And so once I noticed that, then all of a sudden I started to notice like how much time I'm spending. And then I would notice how much time Gabe was spending. Right. <laughs> <laughs> and, and, well, our and, kids. and the thing I love about what you guys have created is, you know, I get that weekly update on my screen time right. report, like how much time I was on. Yeah. But nobody's crediting me for how much time I'm trying to be off the phone. Right. And that's what you guys have built into Aro. That's exactly right. It, and, and that's the whole premise of it is let's take a positive approach to this because we've we very large demonize tech and all the bad things and by the way it's funny as we're recording this this is the 15th birthday of the iphone wow. and so it, it's funny in doing that is that we've we don't really have a great tool right now to help us put our phones down because they're hard to put down we all know how hard they're to put down and so what we've done is exactly what you say we begin with this beautiful smart box and it's it's tech packed it's packed with technology but it's also a design piece and it sits in your home it lives in your home and it's, it's this visual cue that says, hey, this is where you put your phone. And when you put your phone in there, RO knows your phone is there. It begins to measure that time away from your phone. And to your point, Gabe, what it does is it then tells you, hey, here's how much time you've intentionally spent away from your phone. And that's a really powerful thing. And it all begins, it's all around the psychology of habit creation and habit formation that begins with a visual cue, cue craving response reward. Yeah. And so what we've done within the RO app, and that's the magic, is we all have shoe boxes, we all have drawers where we can put our phones, but we really don't because we don't get credit for that time that we're away from our phone. And so what we've done, this app, it's gamifying this experience of being away from our phone, which that's the reward side of it. And we're using all text tools and tricks that they, you know, the daily streaks and the badges and all that kind of stuff. We use all that to gamify that experience to create this fulfilling, rewarding experience of being away from your phone. Yeah. Yeah. And I every, really love that. Every parent is trying to find a good way to convince or persuade their teenagers or kids. Right. Or themselves, but but let's just focus on the kids for a right. second. Everybody's trying to figure out, how do I manage this phone with my yeah. kids? I have a contract, but they keep breaking it. That's right. Where do we put the charging station? Well, what I love about this is it's beautiful, A. Yeah. It's something you want sitting out. People are going to ask you about it. Like, what is this beautiful box? The wood on top. I mean, the white. It's right. just clean. It's innovative. It's, it's beautiful. Um, but then the functionality of it, yeah. you're actually charging your phone. It's at nighttime. You know, for our kids, 9 o'clock. Right. Phones downstairs in the RO. And when you put it in there, it's charging it, but it does right. give them credit. And I even like the app. I mean, it's kind of fun how you're asking people like, what are you wanting to do with this time? Yeah. So it's, you guys have done a good job of making it uh, engaging and helps people actually think about right. what should I be doing with my time? Well, and that's the real reward. The reward is not the badge or the streaks. The reward is what you do without your phone. That's the real reward. And I think especially for Rhythms for Life listeners, that's what you're looking for is what, what happens on the other side of this yeah. when I put my phone down. So you're exactly right. Reminds me a lot of Sabbath when we try to mm. cast that vision for our kids a few years ago. They're like, wait, so we don't get to see our friends and we don't get to be on our phones and we get to all hang out as family. I'm like, yeah, doesn't that sound amazing? Right. 
Right, exactly. <laughs> but it really was about cultivating a new vision of flourishing as mm. a family. And I do think um, a lot of our listeners are families, especially this summer in the Marriage and Parenting series. And it is hard to ask our kids to do something that we're not willing to right. do. So I had to, you know, go take the other extreme and get off my phone these mm. last three to four years so that I had some credibility with my kids because they remember when they were younger and right. mom was on her phone. And when I noticed, I think it's like awareness breeds action. Like once you begin to notice, you you want to change and you you start to see the fruit of that. You start yeah. to see the connection with the kids. And so RO allows you to do this as a family and it's good accountability because then our kids are like, well, are you putting your phones down at nine <laughs> right. o'clock as well? And then our kids are older, so they feel like permission to say those things to us. <laughs> and I think that's good for us um, because we can't, you know, kids are going to, they're going to listen to the that's way they right. saw you live, not just the things that you had to say. And so this is something to do together. Well, and the kids, what's funny, the kids will lead that too. You'll find, we, we thought the it would be mainly the parents driving it. It's become an, a parental control app, but in the opposite way, the kids now control the parents and they say, Hey, it's dinner time. Your phone goes in RO. My, my 12 year old daughter, the other day, she we got an email from our uh, director of customer experience, Rich, who said, he said, hey, this week, the, the person with the most time off their phone was Heath Wilson, our co-founder, and the number two person was my 12-year-old daughter, Gianna. So I went and told Gianna, hey, this is really cool. You were number two. And she was furious. She said, well, <laughs> well, she goes, one, I didn't know that there was a competition. Two, I'm so mad I'm not number one. Three, I'm coming after Heath this week, and I'm going <laughs> to spend the most time off my phone. So this thing is a really, it really actually does approach the kids because we, all of us think, oh, 12 year olds are always going to look at their phone. There's nothing we can do about it. I totally disagree from experience. When there is a gamified experience to being apart from your phone, it really will be effective for your kids. Yeah. Well, I want to thank you guys for being a part of this with us, the marriage and parenting series, the summer, all the conversations that are happening. It's been a very practical way for us to not just have conversations about this, but to give at least one practical tool in RO to say, this is how you can do one of these practices and rhythms in your home. So thank you guys. Well, thank you all. You guys are the best. Well, I hope you enjoyed just hearing from a creator and a founder who's trying to navigate that tension Rebecca was talking about of like, you don't, you don't just throw your phone in the pool and be like, I'm done with it. Um, you have to use it, but how we use it and how we keep getting better, especially on that 15th year anniversary of the iPhone. How do we get better at how we're going to function with these? So you have the opportunity as an RFL listener, you get a $25 discount by using code RFL at your checkout and a free six-month subscription for a limited time. And you can do that at GoRO.com. That's G-O-A-R-O.com using promo code RFL. And then also they're doing a giveaway, which is really fun, until August 31st. RO is offering the chance to win a three-night getaway to Bolt Farm Treehouse, a luxury mountaintop retreat that, just like RO, helps people reconnect with nature, their people, and their purpose. So register for that. Will you just text this right now to the number 66866? Text RFL to 66866. Well, now we're going to go into this conversation with Willie and Corey Robertson. I hope you enjoy it. Let's listen in. Let's listen in. 